This morning, the drill sergeant running the new batch of regulars through the main bay said something that stuck with me. A belief in the Emperor and a strict adherence to orders is the only way ahead to victory. The only way. Instilling this into the new battalion is key, yes, but to victory? No. Credits. That's the real key. Credits. Nothing in the verse gets done without them. My mission is, and I quote, the highest of priorities, at least in name. Yet the tools at which I'm to hunt down these miscreants and rebels is sorely lacking. But there's a loophole I intend to exploit. Unilateral control. My orders read. Establish a Protective Corps Security Task Force, unhindered by Imperial Fleet Command or local sector moths and governors. That doesn't mean they have to assist me in my efforts. Most moths wouldn't unless they are seeking for glory or promotion. So why risk their own forces and weaken their position with command? Going into battle opens up the possibility of failure. Failure means demotion or worse. But as we make our way liberating worlds, why not establish our own local governors, those that rely on my command for its defense. Local taxation could lead into the fleet's coffers. This is a real plan. This is the key to fighting this fight. I've gotten approval to set up some contracts with the shipyards at Quat, a subset of factories on Fiss. It just took the hint that the task force has money to burn and a few bribes here and there. Finally, the orders were cut, allowing for my requisitions. If the Empire won't fund my efforts fully, and Fleet Command expects me to fail in shame and retake my position as Task Force Lead, I'm sure there's many a moth and highborn that would like to have it. And they're gonna have to find another way. We'll do this ourselves. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, Captain Shack here, and welcome back to Empire War Forces of Corruption. We're playing Awakening of the Rebellion, continuing our campaign as the Empire. We're really early in episode three. We have moved the fleet under Lord Vader. We've ordered them to head over to Deveron. We've actually taken out the defense forces there, uh, and we have found nothing but pirate scum and villainy. Same thing with Agadabi Ray. So we need to. Agadabi? Is that. No. Aber. Aberdog. Aber. Eh, Ray. We've taken, or we've taken, we have spied on it. We've sent scouts. Uh, we could take it, but we haven't actually had a real fight with the Rebellion. Not a proper one. A couple of planets here and there that have had Black Sun criminal organizations. All right. Well, let's continue. I kind of want to push all the way to fight fair and then maybe cut across, maybe hit for Endor or something. Uh, I did cancel, by the way. Thank you for the comments. Um, I don't know why it didn't click in my brain, but you can't have an outpost and a governor's palace. It's one or the other. One costs you money, one makes you money. One helps you defend, and one really doesn't. So, yeah, I did go back. I did cancel that. Ooh, the other thing that I wanted to do is pick up an at, -AT because unit. these are awesome. I freaking love these walkers. And that'll help us defend Biss, which at the moment has nothing on it. I also wanted to pull some troops back. Now, we do have a route. I'm, let me turn on all things. What I'm thinking about doing is abandoning, it does have an outpost, so it might actually be defensible, but it's only making us one credit. I'm gonna pull the troops that are there, that are stationed there now. It is a very low valued planet, and I'm gonna send them to Biss. It's a long flight. It's a stupid long flight. They've got a long way to go, uh, but I think it'll be worth it now. Edson, you've got 100 credits coming in unmodified, and I can get a mining facility down here. I could bump that up to 250, and then drop an outpost for 62. Ah, it's, that's, hmm. That's kind of worth it. And then we could put some trade stations in orbit. Remember, raids only attack ground targets, so if it does get raided, if we have the outpost, we'll be looking okay. I'm going to get the outpost, and then the next round, uh, next round, next week, I'll pick up the mining facility, and then later on, we'll pick up a, um, yeah, we'll pick up a, um, uh, ooh, you know what? This is not the priority. We could do it, but this has only one building on the ground, and it's worth 400 already in 61. We could go pretty ham with this. So we'll pick up an out, we can't. We have a governor's palace, that's why that number is so high. Hmm. Can't afford to build anything else on it, except for maybe a barracks. 
which having a barracks up there wouldn't necessarily be awful. It would also give us two groups of army troopers, help defend a little bit. That's the base layout. So what I'm preparing, if you're wondering, is I'm preparing for the enemy raids that we know are coming. Um, let's get you guys spread out a bit. What we'll probably do is spread you out and then get ready to run. Uh, maybe take... Ah, you don't have enough time to defend. Hmm. But you... I don't know what drop zone they actually use on this planet. It's kind of rough. I think they would use this one. Yeah. We'll, we'll set them up like that. Hopefully that works. We well, yeah, alright. We'll wait. We'll wait. We'll get a little bit more income. Quat, are you actually building Star Destroyers? No, you're not. Oh, there's so many things that we need to be doing and just don't have the resources for. How's Corellia and its construction doing? We're putting an outpost there to help defend it. Uh, we'll put up like a trade station in orbit that'll help offset the outpost cost. It does have 208 incoming credits. And Cato Novoidia, you've got resources coming in as well. You would do really well with the trade station. That'll take it from 685 up to one times. We'll do that. That'll be a nice income. All right. Rendil, you are about to give me another probe droid. I want to know, before I drop my men into a trap, the enemy strength on the ground of Deveron. I don't think it was much, but I need to know. Oh, you're already there. We've already got a spy here. All right, drop him. Enemies looking... Reporting in, yeah, no, that's nothing. Oh, we can take that. All right, load up. Moving out, sir. You're building me more of those, right? Because I just kind of wasted one. Yes, but it's going to be a minute because I'm also building a uh, another tank. So, all right, let's begin the invasion. Complete. Vader, go ahead and take point on the drop. That way we can get the 501st. Commencing. Kill a few tanks. Hopefully we get some credits for actually the victory here. I don't know what the... I, I think it's maybe just defined by the planet, but some planets will give you like 1,000 credits or 2,000 credits when you conquer them, and some give you like 90. So, we'll see. There they are. Vader is on the deck with the rest of the 501st. Let's lock this down. I don't see any air units. Oh, yeah, it's only tanks. Only tanks. It is very early in the morning right now, so I am sipping on my coffee and waking up with some Empire at War. Uh, with what we've got... No, this is a good choice. Yeah, we'll bring in some shock troopers. Um, do we want to bring in heavy weapons? Those are DLT 19s. I don't have any rocket infantry. He's already shooting. Nice. Enemy I do. Ahead. I do kind of wish we had a Lambda shuttle as something that we could bring into the field. Like even if it was only, only. Oh man, one or it was a hero. You know. I would love to have a shuttle that I could like carry multiple squads Reporting. of troopers in, uh, and harass the enemy with them. I'm what not going to bother building defenses be? here. This would be uh, the enemy drop site at last. if they attack this planet. But if we want to move over here, take this bunker, take this drop site, uh, build a couple of turrets. That wouldn't go amiss. I don't think. All right. Take cover. Take out the infantry. Vader, wreck face. Vader is moving in. Vader's taking some serious hits. Holy crap. I need you to overload your weapon and fire now. Vader's in the orange. 501st, get up there. I know he's got a medic, but... Grab the next one. Ah, save the infantry. How are we doing? Get back here. All right, we'll bring in some uh, pod walkers. That'll give us a little long-range support. Maybe you can even shoot this fool right here as he drops in. How are we doing, Vader? Oh, I don't know. So, sometimes he'll get nailed by a... Like, I've seen him get hit by anti-infantry weapons. It's rare, because their accuracy is kind of crap against infantry. But when he does get hit, he doesn't block it. He gets chunked. Also, our uh, our walker is taking a sizable amount of damage. He must be getting hit by something pretty heavy. Yep, take out those vehicles. You can start your advance momentarily. Vader! Go force crush a vehicle, please. All right, at least we've got the Stormtrooper squads. They can um, get their medics working on Vader. What's happening over here? Ready for orders. I'm here, sir. 
Oh, I love it. Those heavy weapons. Where's those pod walkers? <gasps> they never dropped. On my way. The reinforcements never came. Oh, but also, like I was saying, like having a lambda would be awesome. I don't know if maybe just one for the Empire, because you, you imagine a lambda would be pretty tanky. Um, they have surprising amount of armor. They're like little gunships, not really just a shuttle. We will as you would think. All right, galaxy. I'm not gonna underestimate a bunch of light vehicles ever again. Let's bring in some more ATSTs. Roger that. Let's move the troopers up Advancing. and finish the job. They have one unit left, which is just yes, hanging sir. out back there. So I'm gonna just move Galaxy. the walkers on top of this hill and blast the hell out of him. <laughs> Get it done. Get to the top of the cliffside. Notice. No, they can fire and move. Okay, I thought it was that the heavy weapons couldn't fire and move and they had to be stopped for a second. Their last you vehicle, there it goes. The Devaron is now under Imperial control. Excellent. Good. I was really getting worried we were going to lose somebody over such a small, like, insignificant world. And it really is, too. It's not that important of a planet. How are you doing? The outpost is almost finished. Because I can't drop my entire force, I think what I'm going to do... Corellia is a very important world to us. Let's dispatch two infantry received. units over. Um, yeah, they're they're kind of core. Let's get that done. What do you got going on over here? Your tiny little fleet? Okay. All right. Does anybody over here have the ability to make ground forces? Not really, actually. Bondor has a governor's palace and an outpost. Wait, I thought we couldn't have this. I, I swear I read like 20 comments saying you can't have both of those, Shaq. Um, hmm. What's the base layout look like here? Oh, really? This is the base layout? Oh, this is going to be defensible. Let's move these back. Move the outpost. Actually, we'll leave it right where it is. I don't want to lose this. Ah, there's so much that I want to build. There's so much income that we need right now. Um, like Naboo, and I always zoom in on Zar instead of Naboo. What do you got? Yeah, you're sitting on an outpost as well. You're actually pretty well defended. Um, but you're really not worth putting a thirty, a three thousand credit station on it, because we know what's going to happen. That station's going to get blasted. Didn't I sell my way out of Umbara? What's Umbara's credits? Minus 12? This place is costing me money. Do I want this? I could sell this for two, well, for 1,200. Eh. You know what? Let them take it. The The damage that I can do with an outpost against an enemy on ground army is enough to make it worth it. And you've got a level 2 outpost, right? Yeah, and you've got a decent fleet in orbit. Yep. Speaking of fleets in orbit, get over there and help Navigating. them out. You're the closest thing I have to a second fleet, and it's pretty disgusting. It's, it's... Oh, you guys need reinforcements. I would love to get a second fleet going. Uh, we got a minute, though. We got a minute before that happens. How are you doing on... You're doing all right. We just need some time to go by. Well, with that, we can take the next world. There isn't a lot there. We don't know exactly what it is. Um, do I want to go for it now? I mean, yeah, I kind of do. Construction complete. Yeah, hey, you guys go ahead and land on Corellia. I'm I am concerned about raids, so Veda, ready, Commander. join us. Oh, Deveron, you're really not worth much. And it would take a considerable complete. amount of money to make you worthwhile. Upgrade complete. What do we got, Governor? There have been several reports of riots and uprisings on the listed planets. Send a governor to silence these separatists before they attack our infrastructure. All right. Uh, Bevel, Drod, or Bin Asana to the... to where? To Rindil? Um... Hmm. Well, we can't have that. Well, the closest governor that we've got is literally right next door, and it would be Bevel. All right, Bevel. Come with me. Shuttle what was the forward. reward for this? This is like right next door. It's weird that we're sending him, but... Mission log there updated. it is. 
That was the easiest mission I've ever done. That's why I want to get outposts far off into the corners. Oh, I got 3,000 credits. Nice. Nice. Oh, man, we can make some cash with that. We're almost 7,500. Now, we were doing defensive structures as well. We needed to build a shield generator within 12 weeks to get the TIE Striker Squadron. Um, to be honest, don't remember where I started that building for the shield structure. They're so damn expensive. It's probably done, too. So you get a shutter shield first. Shutter shield's kind of interesting. It'll keep from um, it'll keep you from getting orbitally bombarded, and it uh, it keeps enemies from dropping in reinforcements, I believe. The flip side of that, I am gonna build this mine back here. Building started. I'm gonna have to assign some more ground troops to defend it, though. Hell, it might even bait the enemy to attack back here. I would rather them raid this and this than the core worlds if we can defend it. If it's like high enough value, maybe they'll go after it. Uh, yeah, where was it? Was it Fondor? No. Misplaced my shield generator. And it wasn't Corellia, because we didn't have um, the base the base structures built yet. I don't think it was Manan. What's the base light on Manan? It's that big round one. Yeah, it's a big round one. All right. Gotta remember to move these troops before this starts. This is the one with the uh, traverse traversing problems in the middle, where you only have infantry that can traverse in the center. Peter Nemoidia, you are a valuable, valuable world, but I didn't put you there. There it is. All right, that's right. I was um, I was digging in at Iridu. So if we build this, Upgrade under it's expensive. It's gonna cost us 137 a week. I hope this is worth it. Uh, let's do it though. I'm gonna go ahead and unpause that. And we could go for the third base, the army barracks. That means we have made this a fortress Rep world. Airport. If they try to take it from us. We should also gather our okay, force down here. We have no I way of getting me. them out of here, by the way. Like that's the that's the real problem. We can't actually get them unless we want to break through at Ziri, intersection three, and then to Naboo. We could pull these horses out of here. There's a lot of credits to be had here. Alright, we have the money. It's time to get our next Star Destroyer off the line. We're gonna build a normal ISD one. Want to start building up a second fleet. Uh, God, that was expensive. Worth it, though. If we have to stop a rebel fleet, I want to be ready to do it. Uh, ooh, we've got somebody on the move here. Rebels, we're picking them up now. How is our structures? Uh, yes, we've got spies. Let's send a probe droid. I want to know what is here. While they're on the way, let's pack up Vader and attack. As the Emperor wills. Why did I have Vader in the lead spot for that attack? Oh, looks like he's going to be slow boating it to the actual uh, enemy station. They even have one. That's a stack. They've actually got a fleet there. Let's do it. Giving us a buffer zone around Corellia. I kind of want to push for Hoth. I think that's going to be our long term goal is to locate the base on Hoth and destroy it. What is it? What is it, General? Well, it is to move forward. Find the enemy. Have at them. Or if you don't, they'll have at you. Deploy the fleet so that nothing gets off the system. As you wish, my lord. Vader's ISD. The system has like a weird fog to it. Let's fast forward a bit. He's managed to launch all of his fighters now. Give it a little bit more time. We don't know where the enemy is. I'm a little We've shocked we haven't seen. There we go. We'll scan the all right. Immediately. Hold position until I know what's going on. There's the fleet. Enemy fleet incoming. It's a bunch of rebels, sir. It's a ton of just blockade runners and and bullshit. All right, let's do this then. Choose your reinforcements. We're having difficulty tracking them. Ozzel, come on out. Let's turn Vader's flagship. Let's get the rest of these fighters launch. Actually, let's just come in hard on the port side confirmed. with a couple of Venators. The damage will be good. We'll bring in some Very ion cannon safe. capability. We'll bring in a dreadnought confirmed. to kind of eat the front of it and engage. By. Engage your attractive beams. Beautiful. You didn't actually get your second Venator. 
and the battle begins. Now, the only one that I'd be worried about losing here would be probably the Carrick, but it looks like we're just detonating ships left and right, yeah. Yeah, not even the Carrick is a crap. Oh, the Imperial fleet just dominating. Oh, wow, the, the victory in this light looks really good. I believe there may be ships attempting to escape. Roger. Nope, he's just coming back around because they do actually Tie cycle in and out of, out of the, the attack. Empire. Tie fight is engaged. Victory is nice. ours, man. Yep. That new space version's gonna be epic. Been watching the dev vlogs and sending questions every once in a while, and. Uh, man like the, the the way that they're gonna do the balance and it looks like they've come up with some way to fix some of the pathfinding issues so how they're going to do that i don't know but what they're doing is they're refining all of the weapon arcs and if they can get pathfinding down positioning and abilities and using the right weapon for the right job kind of like how um ground combat is it's gonna be a big deal it's gonna be a real big deal which is pretty exciting. Okay, I was complaining that I didn't have enough anti-vehicle weapons down here. So, let's get to Anaxis. You can train me anti-armor shock troopers. Ooh, you can train me storm commandos? No, those are death troopers. These are storm commandos. Nice. Demolition branch, the storm commandos. Excellent at sneaking behind enemy lines, destroying vital defense structures like ground-based weapons. Wait, can they raid? I think they can raid. And then they've got the normal Storm Commando. So Storm Commandos, they're basically just, uh, visually, they look like they're scout troopers, but their armor is pitch black. Um, yeah. Ah. Uh. All right. Interesting. Interesting. And then Death Troopers, which cost almost twice as much. <laughs> what are they good with? Let's see. They've got, uh, three teams. One lieutenant, two sergeants, six riflemen, frag grenades. Riflemen plus frags. Okay, so they get frags. They get uh, heavy riflemen, normal riflemen with thermal detonators. Thermal detonators. Hmm. I guess thermal detonators probably their anti-vehicle weapon. I wouldn't use the term thermal detonator in this. I wonder if they're willing to change that. Thermal dets are incredibly scary weapons, right? They don't just give them to an average stormtrooper. Um, and they don't just throw them in combat normally. So you'd get more like a... Um, some kind of concussion not concussion charge. Get something like an armor piercing grenade if that's what it is. Some, uh, some kind of shape charge or something. You're going to say thermal detonator. It needs to be something big. Something scary. But let's go ahead and grab up. Uh, I kind of do want to give them storm commandos. But this is a frontline unit. If this is some kind of raiding unit. These are stealth too. I'm going to give them uh, shock troopers. We'll go with anti-armor shock troopers to get them to the front line. Uh, we do have quad drive yards working, which is good. Um, do we have any other missions we need to do? <gasps> you have not given me the tie thing yet. No, I haven't won that. Yeah. How are we doing on that? Meters halfway. The Palpatine will reward us if we continue to complete these missions. I am curious how that's going to go. All right, let's do a ground invasion. Um, not super worried with what they've got. The, the top stacked item is a B, uh, B2, so... I think we can take them. Do we want to dig in on Deveron, though? Do we want to hold our territory? Hmm. Yes. Constructing. Yes, we do. <laughs> Got another spy. Let's go check out Thyfera. We might be able to push directly for Thyfera. If we can, I might pull some troops off of Gamorn. Oh, hello! We have an enemy fleet and a very weak position by the enemy. Um... No, I'm abandoning. I'm abandoning the plan. They're moving it. They're moving a fleet. Oh no! I just took Vader over there. Iridonia. They're trying to attack and conquer the homeworld of the Zabrak, or at least free the Zabrak. That's in the corridor. It's up north. Um. Okay. What do we have? I have an outpost. Five enemy platoons. Two light vehicles. One heavy armored, and some APCs and an officer. So we're gonna have. Wow. All right. Is it possible? Yes. How many units? Three. 
Our weakness is going to be against those vehicles. I mean, it's, our weakness is going to be against everything. We could sell and pull chocks, or we could fight. I'd be surrendering a world with 38 credits, or I could make them pay for this. I'm going to pay for it. I'm going to make them pay for it. Let's fight it. And we can find a good place to dig in. Uh, maybe we can hold out. We do have an outpost. So last night, the reason that I'm up so late today is because me and Wasted were playing the greatest game ever made, and I highly recommend one version of it. Uh, or at least try playing one version of it, and that is EDF. It is amazing, and I love it. Okay. Oh, this is a good, this is a good spot. Okay, we need to have squad front delay. Bring the music down a little bit. Uh, so, what do we have for the situation? Well, we've got a bunker here we can take, which will delay the enemy just a little bit. We have three, or we have two full platoons of regulars. Not great, but we can get something done with this. The other problem is we're actually stationed all the way back here. I probably should have customized this a little bit more. So, what we're going to have to do is move our force, full convoy, copies. run it across all the way to here. This is going to be our hold site. Um, yeah, I mean, that's going to have to be it. Attack so you guys, copies. here we go. Here's your orders. Break. Break. Right you. Uh, yeah, break back here. Yes, sir. We're just going to dig in and we're going to hold. You what need to be in the orders? front. You two need to be. So it's freezing up because they're Ready dropping troops. Orders. If you're ever getting those little freeze ups, that's what's happening. They're loading the new models. Uh, how'd you guys do? Get command. inside. Standing by for your command. All right, dig in. Really, you guys are just there to delay them from hitting the, uh, the base. How are you guys doing? Give me a anti infantry turret, turret up there. Ready, sir. And you are going to get the big honking gun. There they are. A turret bunker turret. Now, I would normally make a little bit of AA. What do we got? What do we got? What are you shooting? Ah, taunt taunts. Freaking taunt taunts. But we do have an AA tank right here with the convoy, the reinforcements. If we can hold long enough. We'll be looking pretty damn good. We're going to pull over here with one squad, and we're going to grab this and build an anti-infantry. Um, yeah. Keep going, keep going, keep going. No. No. Ready for How are we doing over here? Are you guys holding? All right, break off, get in the bunker. Oh, they've ioned it. Does that make it not function, or does that make it just weaker? I think it's completely off. Ah, yes. Keep firing at those vehicles. Damn it, they ioned it again. All right, boys are in the bunkers. You guys are over and ready to dig in, spread out, and get ready for the proper fight. How are we doing? They're in the bunker. Come on, get another shot. I need you to kill these light vehicles. Oh, I could use that convoy. Where are they? Keep moving. All of you, dig in and get ready. How are we doing? Okay, we took out one vehicle. Kind of crap. Hey, big honking gun. Take out these tauntauns. That's a lot of tauntauns. That's a sh shocking number of tauntauns. Do not let them have that. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. If they drop troops here. Okay, we're starting to capture it. Keep going, keep going. Give him some more rockets. Oh, he doesn't shoot rockets. He actually has an energy beam. What? That's kind of cool. Finish him. Bye, you wing. Yeah, Rebels get U-Wings now. If you haven't played the more recent versions... Yeah, they're getting U-Wings in space, too. All right, how are we doing over here? Our base is under attack. Um, we're doing okay. Ready to go. Infantry move up. Go ahead and dig in as well. We need to keep them off of us. Do not go too deep, because we're going to have heavy armor that's going to come this way. The rest of you, infantry. Start taking out the infantry. You, we need... We desperately need... Concussions. There's the armor. Overload your weapons. You've got to take it out. What are you firing at? Are you infantry or armor? Anti-infantry. Okay, never mind. Keep doing what you're doing. Fucking gun on that thing. How are we doing, pods? Are we not taking this out yet? No. I feel like we're out range. Can you hit this? I know you've got good range, but that might be a little ridiculous. All right, fall back. We almost have online. Dig in. We almost have grenade launchers. All right, all infantry fall back. Make them come to us. You get over here. We're going to pop your anti-missile system in a second. We need them closer. We need to smite them. 
All right, pop your anti-infantry or anti-missile system. There's the grenades getting work done. Nice, nice. Wow, we really do need to take out these light vehicles though. Here they come. Stop missing heavy vehicle. Get inside that bunker. Scratch that, just open fire. Does anybody have any grenades left? No. Yeah, we have to defend this. There, kill that heavy armor. There's only three of them. We can hold if we can get a few more grenade shots on the back line, too. Nice! Oh, those grenades are so good. Oh, no. We're in trouble. We're in deep trouble. Let's get over here. I think we've killed the majority of the... Let's run. Let's go. Keep firing grenades. Keep firing. They do have another armor. Damn, they have another armored vehicle thing there. Uh, we lost it. Run, 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 run. I don't know how fast you are, but you can get out of there, right? We have another batch of reinforcements ready to go. Now remember, we haven't really lost much. Just a couple of platoons. Oh, they're going to take that armor out. Yeah. Get you in the back. Let's get you turned around because you've actually got decent range. I don't think this turret's gonna be ready. Yes, sir. Yes, Commander. Nice. Keep running. Keep running. We're gonna hold back here. We can't. We can't hold here. We have to move. Ready. Let them come. Actually, turn around and again fire a few more rounds. We're gonna keep putting those rounds out from the pod walker. He's got good range, so if that AA turret is up, we might as well. Just trying to thin the crowd as we retreat. Moving out. Fighting retreat to the next turret. Yes, sir. Okay, your back line, your front line. What are you for anti-infantry? Ooh, okay. Oh, he's trying to hit us. What are your orders? You poor regulars. They're just so bad. <laughs> We're not gonna have time to build that. We can flip you around and build you into something though. Uh, yeah, and our reinforcements over right there, so our supply lines are shorter, though I think we've got everything we're gonna get. Everybody spread out and get ready for combat. Affirmative. Ooh, we get a bunker over there. Should it's better to fight over the bunker, or...? Alright, this time, gonna go with the grenade launcher again. We need damage. I need you back line as well, and engaging. Let's see if we can kill this. The only heavy weapon that we've actually got. All of you open fire on that. Is this pod walker? So, gotta pop your ability now. See if you can pierce it. We've almost killed both of these squads. Everybody dig in. And all of you fire at him now. Before the enemy reinforcements arrive. Come on, pod walker. I need you firing here. I need you hitting. We've got a couple of missiles in there, but they're rockets, but they're missing. Come on. What do we have for reinforcements? Ah, another batch of regulars? Damn. They're coming in behind us. Take them out. We're through the shields. This is what happens when you don't have the proper tools for the job. I don't have what can pierce a vehicle like this. So it's just... Keep doing damage. Keep firing. Give me another shot. We will hold. We did it. We did it. We actually held. I copy. Inputting coordinates. We're gonna keep going. Kick the crap out of them here. Ready to deliver. We're gonna move back up. We're gonna find these last units Reporting. before they rally. We're gonna kick the crap out of them here though. And then I think we're gonna push for Enemies are taking what is it, normal infantry squad? Yeah, spec force soldier, actually. Sure. Enemy, suffering injury. Nice. This way. Keep moving. Over there. Why did they send us? Uh, for the front lines. Oh man, and then we're gonna hit the rebels at that staging point that they're building south of us. I'd love to oh, Kyle Katarn was down there too. If we can capture him. Drop in right in the middle before they have a chance to yes, sir. redeploy. Now, because this is a world that they've obviously yes, shown Commander. interest in. It wouldn't be a terrible idea to start building defenses on it for next time. 
I may even move our supply base. If I had that somewhere like back here, I'm not sure if I can. I'll have to look at where the spots are. That would be way better because we could reinforce. We could reinforce that little defense point we were using at the beginning. A little, a little battle line. What is that? They've got another heavy. Shit. Fall back. I didn't realize they had another heavy. Actually, that's a proper heavy too, isn't it? That's not like... No, oh, it's, it's another tramp shuttle. It's that heavy cannon on the top. Such pain. I still lose this. Anti-vehicle turret is the key. Losing numbers. Ready for command. We can't take this. Keep running. On the move. Ready to go. Swing around. If they're willing to spread out like that, do it. What are your orders? Turn around. Ready for orders. Infantry dig in. Firing on that position. Let's go. How much damage can we do? I don't know if we can actually kill this. It's that I'm worried about, but it's not supporting its infantry push right now, so we should be okay. Ah, oh, these are regulars though, they can't do much. We can't move the um Grenade launcher up either because it's. Mm. Come on. Handled, Good. Kill this. No. Please tell me you're in range. He popped smoke again. I think it gives him an increase to. That's actually quite cool, but I don't think it gives him what, an increase to um, defense? Heals nearby injuries. Alright, bringing up the pod, overloading his weapon. Attack that target! We've almost gotten through the shields. Another squad down. Oh no, no, he's falling back. Maybe he'll actually leave. I'd be okay with that. My whole position is <laughs> barely holding out. Can I sell that? I can. Do it. Let's move our tank up. I might even do a repair center over here. For I can't afford to push forward. For your I mean, I can put a turret here. I can hear the tank treads. Hear that? That's oh, that guy. Oop. <laughs> Listen, I'm not through my first cup of coffee. Don't judge. <laughs> what else can we build with this? So these are those Rogue One tanks, right? They were using to move... Um... Oh, that's so freaking cool. They added these in. Uh, they're normally moving like cargo, but what they can do in this is that they can turn into a structure that you can build with. Now, we can do a sensor node. We can't afford a repair station. I need more of these. Having a repair station would have been pretty cool, because we could have repaired the walkers instead of only having the one left. They were kind of outclassed, though, with that APC of theirs. That... Hmm. Do I want to waste the credits on this? I kind of need all the credits I can get. The enemy's got their shields back, Attack most likely. Or would we rather have this? Hmm. I'm going to go with an anti vehicle turret, I think. Ah, it doesn't matter if they don't come to us. We fast forward time. They're on the attack. I have all the time in the world. It retreated, and then it never returned. <laughs> All right. Uh, sure. I have a single well, full ready, or single squad. I could move them up and use them as a stealth unit, but position. or stealth a scout Getting unit. Now, Let's do it. Maybe we can bait them into attacking. Let's go. Just avoid the turrets. You know they've taken over every turret On they've the seen. Move. Getting too far away from my cover. There's the blown vehicles we took out at the beginning of the battle. Shit! Oh, it's an anti-infantry turret. Let's go. On the move. Roger that. Yes, sir. I think the AI has broken itself. Moving on your mark. Moving to that position. I also think I'm out of reinforcements, so this is all I've got left. Ah, oh, come on now. Attack me. Let's go. I don't trust the auto resolve the button. Roger that. Yes, sir. 
Moving on I actually don't know what's up here. I've never scouted it. There now, sir. On our way. Let's go. On the move. Roger that. Yes, there sir. it is. Moving on your mark. Moving to that position. But it's just sitting there. Heading there now, sir. On our way. Let's go. On the move. Roger that. Oh, oh, it's... Ooh, no. No, it's not what moving. Yes, sir. Huh. I wonder if I could sneak a squad to the bottom and capture their fallback point. <laughs> it's, it's kind of tempting. This is anti-infantry, right? Yeah. Hmm. I mean, I can hit him. I can hit him with everything I've got. It seems kind of lame to do so, though, because I don't have... I don't have the forces to take that thing down. I won't be able to get through the shield generator. I'm kind of stuck here. Roger that. I'm going to go for it. I have little choice but to engage. We know the enemy tank is over here, so I can't wait any longer. I could try to do an auto-resolve, but I don't really trust it to win. I'm going to just attack it. I'm going to attack it with what I've got. Put them in cover. Moving we'll try out. to sneak in and get sight on them. Probably outrange them with the Moving infantry on and then use the heavy gun on the very oh, lightly moment. armored uh, pod walker to get something done here. Heading out. So we'll out. keep the pod walker in the back. He does have his ability to overcharge. The only, only problem is he's going to out um, out tank us. There he is. Let's move out. Ready for the order's order. been given. Perfect. Attack. Attack. I copy. Get within firing range, and as soon as you are... Keep going. Okay, get closer, it's fine. Attacking now fire. Damage. That's good damage. When he overloads, he does good damage. Looks like he's decent range, too. Alright, hold position there. Oh, don't let him run! This is your chance to strike! Finish him off! Oh, no, 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 no! Is that an enemy infantry squad? Yes. Oh, crap. That's not good. Ready, oh, thankfully, we've got grenade launchers. They're suffering heavy losses. They've even put a heavy turret back there. Good this shooting, is the men. slowest firefight Enemy ever. <laughs> Enemies, suffering injuries. Miss. Good hits. Enemy Another squad down. Okay, they actually had more units. I can't go any farther forward. Oh, I had my chance. It was right there. It was right there. It's in the red. Yes, sir. <sighs> Couldn't finish the job. He retreated. The enemy has like one unit left. What are your orders? All right, I'll fast forward a little bit more. Let's see if it ends up coming back. We've taken the ground again. Yes, Commander. This way. We can't get by that gun turret. I don't think. I don't think we can get around it. Definitely can't kill it. Over there. I wonder if those cost the AI the same amount of credits they cost us, or at least do they have to pay for them? You know, because they always build turrets when they take stuff now. On my way. Scouting Are they never out of money? Because I sure am. On the move. All right, we're moving out into the moisture farms. With the last of our squads. Area. I mean, it might not be able to see us. Its sight Let's range go. is pretty trash, I think. It relies on other units right to away. see. Well, we'll find out. Ready for orders. Ready. Moving out. Maybe we'll get lucky and we'll find an empty an empty pad somewhere that we can out. put a turret on. I don't know. <sighs> Moving up. Our four units. Five units. This desolate world. Fall out. There's a bunker, but I think we they destroyed it. Let's move out. Yeah, because I had people in it, so they destroyed it. I was using it as a delay for the turret that we were building back here. Luckily it the enemy won't own those turrets. Um seriously, he's not here. 
We know there's another turret somewhere on this side, so I have to be very careful. Yes, sir. Keep going. The armor's turned around. Oh, he's got us. He's got us. Overload the weapons. We just need a couple of good hits. Come on. Oh, we gotta break through that shield again. Push forward. Get moving. Ready to go. Yes! Performed a great service for the Empire. Oh, we did it! Holy crap! With two guys left and a pod walker on fire. We managed to hold. We only took two platoons of the Emperor's finest. S sort of, not really. Holy crap, baskets. That was way stressful than it should have been. All right, where was that? That was Ord Montel. Um, they only have a Dreadnought up there. We could move our fleet from... No reason to just sit here. Might as well move in. Be useful. For the glory of the Empire. I don't know if he's going to make it, but we're going to try. Uh, and with that being said, Vader's on his way. The enemy has moved in a bigger fleet than before. Okay, we got it. We're going to get there before their fleet arrives. Tactical battle Good. Ahead. I don't know what they have. Oh my god, it's ground troops. It's three heroes. That's the Quasar hero. Oops. Let me zoom in. That is... Yes. No, he's in something. No, it's a Quasar, I think. He used to be in a Quasar. A-wings, two X-wings, two Y-wings. Yeah, he's Quasar. All right, Snib. We've also got Jiris. And we've got Juno. Juno, we have to be careful with. She's got a long-range heavy weapon. She's the only one who has that weapon as well. The Salvation 2. Um, everything else is ground forces. We may have just done a decent amount of damage to the Rebellion if we play this right. That's a lot of heroes to lose. And I don't know how many of those are even rescuable. If the... Uh, actually... The, oh, I don't think the AI has to rescue stuff. But anyways. Let's see if we can knock out some heroes from the Rebellion. Launch fighters and prepare for battle. Vader's still in the yes, uh, hyperspace pathfinder spot. Yes, my lord. At least we get the sensor readout. The enemy is approaching. Are they coming for us? I would. Do it. Get in here. Interceptor squad reporting. Um. Yeah, they're breaking. A small, a small group is actually breaking and approaching us. Including... What is that? Moldy Crow? No, gunship. Alright, I've ordered the interceptors to engage. Yes. We'll have Vader go in as well. It's so tiny, I can barely see it. Right there. To die. Let's go kill that with fire. Uh, are these more ground troops? No, these are Z-95s. Yeah, this is a squadron of Z-95s coming in. You guys can probably barely see that. How far you can zoom in in this. Um, so... And the models do not look bad when you actually get a chance to see them. Z-95s. I don't want to get too far away. Those Rebel Ion Cannons. I think this is the first time in this campaign that we've actually fought a Rebel Space Station. I cannot underestimate the Rebel Ion Cannons. The Rebel Stations are scary. Alright, let's hold here. We'll get a battle line going, since that's kind of what this fleet's all about. Heading to destination. You can see to it these transports get destroyed. Put a victory in the back. Hold position, Vader. You're getting a little too aggressive on me. A little too aggressive. And then I think I'll keep everybody else in reserve and see what happens. But yeah, definitely. Bombers switch to concussion missiles. Help kill those... Yeah, there you go. Bomber squadron reporting. Bomber squadron reporting. We have to figure out how we want to do this. They do have a substantial, substantial fighter presence in the sector. Oh, and one of them is just back there dropping turrets. <laughs> you jerks. That's an Imperial trick. How dare you? These, it would be cool if these had a different, um, a different model. Oh, you are not in a Quasar. Oh no, you've gotten an upgrade. You've gotten a substantial upgrade. What is the... That's a sexy ship. 9,000? 9, 9,000 shields, 12,000 hull? And they've got a GR-75? No! 
the hero ship of the rebellion. We do not want to fight all of that at once. They out us outgunned for fighters. It's subs <laughs> okay. Here's what we're gonna do. Ready for orders. Bombers, report back here. Bombers Should have at the ready. three squadrons of you, including one ready to fancy bomber squadron. Um, our punishers. Receiving orders. Orders, sir. Interceptors take points. Go with Vader. Go with the ties. All of the ties. Ties reporting in. Gonna make you groups. Com link active. Your group one. Your attack what group two. So one, two. You all switch to anti-fighter concussion missiles. All right. The enemy fleet is on the move. Juno's decided that she's, she's decided she wants peace. Let's do it. I like this plan. Happy to be a part of it. All right. Heavy bomber incoming on. on the right side. Move Let's out. drop our fighters in. Looks like capital ships are going to be on the left. Let's bring of in course, the ion sir. cannons. Let's bring in the dreadnought to right suck up way. some of that front damage. Probably going to lose the dreadnought. Going to be worth it. Deploy the fleet so that nothing gets off okay, Vader's system. already engaged. Kind of want to disable her forward firing weapon because it's scary and I don't like it. Where's that damn thing? Oops. Where? Siege turbo laser. We could get group one going in. Um, with the fighters this far off and their escorts that far away. Actually, I think our bombers could make it. Let's go break their face. Siege weapon. That's your primary target. Ready for command, the rest of you break Changing off and kill those Y-wings. I do not want them getting free reign on our ISDs. Where are my V-wings, editors? There you are. There you are. There you are. Do not wait. Engage. Arcs. Go. Since their fighters are all over there, let's get the arcs over here and start working on... Uh, let's go start working on the shield generator. All arcs. There's five squadrons. Engaged. Let's speed you up a bit. I got their s foils closed so they can book it. All right, you're about to get into a little combat area. Open up. Go for the shield generator. You have your orders. How we doing? Juno almost dead? Uh, one of their heroes is about to go down. How's Vader doing? He's doing fine. Right, rest UV wings. Engage the enemies. You new ties. Engage the enemies. You bombers. Nicely done. You did the job. I want you to switch targets because he's got an overshield on and go after the shield generator on that larger capital ship. I'd love to get you some TIE fighter support. That's exactly what I'm going to do. All ties break off and cover our arcs as they begin their attack run on the rebel capital ship. That has to be the command ship of the fleet. All right, we're moving up. Form up. Because you're sitting there firing at enemy fighters and not like the enemy capital ship. Carrick, you're adorable. We also need to start going after the inner engines. Can't. Target that vessel. I, uh, oh, oh, grab it. Tractor beam. Tractor beam. There we go. That is no escape now. Most of our arcs have died. <laughs> How do I know they've respawned? All right, do what the Empire does best. Fire the big slow moving target. You know it's true. It's exactly what ISCs are designed for. Blasting away. All those freaking cannons. Oh, these aren't quad barrels. These are just ghoulies. Hmm, I wonder if you get the quads, um, the octuples at um, ISD2. Oh, load your weapons and open fire. Go after the engines. We don't want them to escape. Man, that thing is a tank. Look at it. We're just to have a little broadside here. Not what you want with an ISD, but I'd rather not have to try to turn him around. That'll be a legit strategy, though, when the new version comes out. If you see an Imperial line, it's mostly Venators and ISDs. Push through it. Send the fleet right through the middle. Don't let them, um... Don't give them a chance to just sit there and bombard you. And get behind them. Break them up. If you can't hyperspace in behind, and you don't have the maneuverability, then you might as well press through. Could have ions. Another hero is down. Alright, let's give Vader... And the Devastator chance to get the shields. Oh, nope, never mind. It is over. Devastating 
battle. Oh, they didn't even get to use the station. Devastating battle for the Rebel Alliance. The number of officers that they've lost there. They're having like an officer meetup. And the ground forces. Now, what do you think their target was? We still can take out one more officer too, Kyle. They're retreating to Thyfair. We're gonna have to take that. We're gonna have to hit it. I don't want them getting away. There's also more troops moving. I wonder if they're gonna go the whole way too. We might as well stay for the ambush. Uh, yeah, we're not gonna wait around. I'm going after... Uh, capture the renegade Kyle Katarn immediately. It's like those rebels stopped here. He must not escape. That will be four rebel heroes taken down in a single blow. Sometimes, sometimes you get lucky. The enemy has been spotted. What the heck are we firing at? Oh, the rebels have fought over this planet before. I don't think Vader allows for whistling. <laughs> <laughs> they do have air units. Uh, looks like they've got a T-47. They've got a snow speeder up there. A speeder. Salt speeder. That's that's a good word for it. These for the longest time were called snow speeders, but they can be used in any weather. They don't have to be used on a cold planet. These things are actually surprisingly tiny. Like, compare them to an X-Wing or a, a Y-Wing. They're about half the size. They're super tiny. Hmm. Let's drop in Veers. Moving out, sir. I still haven't deployed a, an anti-vehicle infantry squad with you, so you're really going to be all about that all walker. Uh, they don't have much, but they do have a General speeder. Where did that speeder landed. come from? Commence primary ground assault. Oh, I say they don't have much, and then they reveal this nonsense. They've actually, like, dug in. Reporting in, sir. Go ahead, Veers. Your Overload your weapons and open fire. Do not let him wrap. Oh, yeah, they won't, he won't wrap you. You're a hero. I'm also giving you... I'm also giving you an anti-air uh, unit. Go ahead and shell the, the base. You call that a defense. Oh, yeah. Let's get some walkers in here. We got a lot of death coming this way. Vader, take your 501st and break them. Go ahead and overload your guns. Just keep keep bombarding. Copy. He's like, oh, he's going in. I want to go in too. Damn it, Veers. Force choke. Force choke. Ah, there it is. Whole squad done. Construction complete. That's a nice hold point, though. We have to defend this world. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna bank that one for later. What are you shooting at? Oh, there's a piece of wall left. Come with me. You will be destroyed. I have a first. Let's go. Where's your second squad? Reporting. I have misplaced Reporting. the 501st again. Order acknowledged. Awaiting your orders, Don't judge. Commander. <laughs> right away, sir. We're moving up. What is thy bidding? Hmm. All right. Get all crazy lightsabery on these. Rebels. He just walks up to them and they fall over. Oh, a lot of anti-vehicle. 501st? Let's go. You are a bigger fool than I thought. Capture the zone and then Vader can call in reinforcements. We will at last control the galaxy. Oh, we're busy back here, are we? They must have... They must have a bunch of civilian spawns like this. Yeah, they must have a bunch of dwellings. The locals are on the side of the rebellion. And we're gonna deal with that right now. Remember, we came down here for one person. Kyle Katar. And we haven't even seen him. I can't be the only one that wants a Lambda shuttle. <laughs> that thinks that would be cool to have, like an assault shuttle. It, it, it could work like the Juggernaut. 
the rebel side, you know they got that big ground unit that just slides across the ground really slow but holds a ton of infantry? I can't remember who, who, what hero gets that. I have no interest in your feelings, Commander. But it flies. Your orders, Commander. Uh, we have a huge squad down here. What I think we're gonna do is we're gonna walk this squad forward. Right away. Roger that. We'll move you Scouting. up to back them up, and then we'll move Veers and his pod walkers up here to way. support Vader. I am ready. He was currently suggestion. in a fight. Roger that. Because he's Vader. He can't go ten Over seconds without being in a fight. There. Keep going. No. We're not gonna spend any money here because we just don't have it. Take it down, take it down. I know it's an anti-vehicle turret, but we really need to push through this. Oh, look at this rebel barracks. Nice. That's what we need to do next. Some space engineers, we're working on that Imperial installations, hopefully aggressive Imperial installations. If you have any of those you want to send in, um, that's what we were doing on the last stream, Sunday before last, then uh, make sure you send them in. Send them over to Shack Chat, drop them in there. I'm building up a collection so we can have uh, kind of a challenge, uh, a more active world in Space Engineers for the Star Wars mod pack. But I need to do a Rebel version of it, so players who want to be on the Imperial faction side can do that. Have some fun. ATSD's kind of getting beat up on. And that's the only walker support you guys really have. Fall back a little bit with this. You're getting a, you're getting a little sniped. So just hold here. Vader will be there with reinforcements momentarily. Come on. You may start your approach. We will I will cover you. All infantry engaged. Galaxy. We're on our way. Reinforcements will be there soon. Just hang in there. Oh, man. At least we've got the E-webs. That should give some cover for just a little bit. We need to get moving, though. You guys are doing good. Dark. Dark. As you command, destination is ignored. Oh. Yes, Commander. Right away. Moving out. I have no interest. We have an infantry, anti infantry turret. I can you go through the woods? Yes! Infantry can go through the woods. Is that Katarn? Vader is chasing Katarn through the woods, breaking everything in his way to do so. That's kind of hilarious. How'd the middle do? Copy. Uh, I was worried we were going to lose a few of I our walkers, me. but we didn't, so. Yes, General. I am en route. Report. Ready. Fire at that vehicle. Yes, sir. Overload your weapon systems while you do it, because that thing's literally designed to kill you. Awaiting orders. Calling in a bombing run. How's Vader doing? Did you find Katarn? He can retreat if he wanted to. I don't think he's going to. Oh, I love it. Vader's going after Kyle. Target line. There he is. Those epic animations. <laughs> Gentlemen. There it is. It ended with a showdown between the two of them. So fitting. Oh, a modern empire at war. If it still kept, it probably wouldn't. The modding. I would love to see an upgrade in the animations. You know, synced kills, things like that. Something straight out of like Dawn of War 1 and 2. That, that style. Epic lightsaber duel going on. All right. There we go. I think this is where we're going to wrap up this episode. We've managed to ambush. Uh, the rebels don't own Thyfera. Our scout has arrived, or we're at least close enough to see it. Interesting. We now know what they have, and it's not much over there. I thought the rebels were pulling back and heading that direction, but that is not the case. We're also about to get paid. So, with the next week's uh, credit income from the Emperor, we're going to have 7.5. We've had not a bad upgrade so far to our income this week. It's getting up there. It's getting up there. What do you guys think we should do next? That was a good hit. We know that they've been coming from Irida, so we could chase the rebels there. Or we could hit Thyfera first and then backtrack that direction. If we can even go through, if we can take Thyfera in intersection two, we will have locked off Hoth and whatever rebels are in this region of space. In other words, we've broken the galaxy even more in half, keeping them from resupplying Tatooine if they're that far. I'm not actually sure if they are. I don't know what the Rebels start with um, since we're playing Rebels versus Empire. Definitely don't want them to connect up with Mon Cala, which is where the biggest ships will probably be. 
And we haven't even seen the liberation yet. It's out there somewhere. All right, everybody. If you've enjoyed the video, you know what to do. Hit the thumbs up button. Subscribe to the channel for more sci-fi gaming and modding goodness. Thank you all for watching. I will see you next time. Later, everybody.